Phelps here now, Rosen Phelps. So that's we're in good shape with Barbara here. That's right. And I understand you're friends from way back. And so way we're back. We good go people. back yeah. 35 years. Boy, that's good, isn't yeah. it? When you yeah. get back to that. 35 years. Time. Anyway, let me introduce you and welcome. Welcome very much to the program. It's a pleasure to welcome to the program Saul Mizrahi. And Saul Mizrahi has an interesting story to tell. He's a, he's a former probation officer and he's got a degree. He worked in social work. And he's uh, done a, a very interesting series of things in terms of human resources and so forth. And he's also become a leader, if it is, I'm not sure exactly what your title is, at a, um, at a Jewish, uh, what you would call it, Syn a temple or temple, synagogue, synagogue yeah. and <coughs> so forth that he's uh, interested in. He's very interested in the tradition of the Hebrew tradition and so forth. And we welcome you very much to the program. Welcome to MNN and to Manhattan Network. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. <coughs> Saul, so, could you share with me? I do with this. Mm -hmm. That's what I do. Could you share a little bit your background? You're born and raised, some of your education, and that's mm -hmm. a way to wade into a conversation about, you know, your concerns, your view of the human condition, that sort of thing. But well, <coughs> yes, my uh, my family originated in uh, in uh, Jerusalem and uh, it was then pa Palestine mm -hmm. under the British mandate, and my father came from. Uh, Lebanon, which was part of Syria at the time under the French, and they immigrated to America because it was everyone was told this was the golden land where the streets were actually paved with gold. They're not they, really. They are not. I <laughs> no. uh, look, I look for that gold. I I don't many find immigrants it. actually yeah. believe you can find gold in the streets, and they came. They went hit smack right into the Great Depression. Yeah. And, okay. Uh, mm. My family was uh, horrible. We, we went from having a large farm into poverty. We ended up on public assistance for a while. Uh -huh. We struggled. My brothers worked very hard and went to college at night. Mm -hmm. And one of them is now a, a, a very successful business yes. and a retired teacher. Uh -huh. And the other one is a retired uh, record executive, a movie mogul from Hollywood. I see. Uh, really? The okay. American dream for us r was a reality. We no. came from absolute uh, welfare poverty well. to having our own homes and to uh, living in California, Beverly Hills, meeting Frank Sinatra. You had no, that you met, yes. he was great, right. wasn't he? He was great. I lived with, with, with the Rat Pack, and that's, oh. what, that's what America is about for uh -huh. me. You can be crunched down where uh -huh. you come from, you hit a hard place, uh -huh. but if you work and have faith, you can actually rise above those circumstances. Uh, you think that's okay? That's and the American dream. Isn't that's it? why I went yeah. into social work, that okay. I could help uh -huh. to facilitate people. Helps I, yeah. I worked very hard. My family, when we were on a, a public system, we had very diffi great difficulty. In those days, you could not have a telephone. Uh, you could not go to college. Uh, if you, the students and the family, they had to go to work at, as soon as high school was over. Because you needed the money, the money to pay the rent. rent and so, yeah. they didn't, uh -huh. want, they didn't uh -huh. want them. They thought that was like a, f a, you know, frippery to go to college, you know. Uh -huh. So my brothers went at night while working at day in the daytime. Uh -huh. By the time I went, when tui tuition was free, uh -huh. I graduated Phi Beta Kappa. I was a straight-A student. Congratulations, now, Phi Beta Kappa. Uh, summa cum laude. Uh, uh, magna cum laude. Magna. Cum laude but a, straight-A in my, in my yeah. major of English. And the uh, reason uh, I, I see, yeah. uh -huh. is that uh, I wanted to pay back to the government that gave me a, a free tuition and a scholarship for my books. Uh -huh. And I then said, now I can help people who are in the circumstances that I was in. But you were born here. I was born here. Okay, and your and family was from Beirut. Beirut and How Jerusalem. Long, and Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. How long had they been there, your family roots? Can you trace it back yes, in time? Yes, oh, they, uh, they And they were like, what is called Sephardic. Sephardic Jews, and uh -huh. they lived in that area for at least 100 years. They had a hundred. My ancestors came from Spain. Spain, and, okay. And uh, they had to leave because of the, as you know, the persecution of Jews under the Inquisition, and they fled. My mother spoke Ladino, which is an ancient form of Spanish. Yeah. Middle yeah. And she sang. That's not songs. Catalan, right? No, no it's, it's, Castilian, it's Castilian mixed in with Hebrew and uh, Arabic. Oh, really? It's a c combination, a uh, language like Yiddish. Ladino. Which, uh, yeah, Ladino, Ladino is, like, is like the Yiddish yeah. of Spain. Really? And uh, people still sing Do and speak. Do you know it at all? Do you know any I, uh, I know, one, I know one sentence my mother taught Say me. Say the sentence. Say the sentence in Ladino. Well, uh, can you, if was, you can say uh, it? was like, uh, yeah, it, it was like, fue el baño, se sacrificó. Servita a la tula. I went to the bathroom, bathroom, fell down, and broke my rear end. That's all you know? <laughs> That's all I know. That's all but I know. I think my mother told me that funny kind of I don't song. Know but I know that some of the songs, my mother would sing like La, la, la Rosa is Lorenza, yeah. The Rose is Blossoming. That's She'd be in singing in Ladino? In Ladino. No, really? Yes, Ladino. And she could speak in Ladino? She could speak and Arabic. Really? And your father also? My father could speak Ladino because he came from Beirut, which uh -huh. is not a, which is really not genuine to fight. It's Arabic. Uh -huh. So kind of thing. he was more, he was separate. In other Judy, words, Judaism, right, but has not 
Not Ashkenazic. Not Ashkenazic, and not, uh, that's really Oriental, or, yeah. or what we call uh, uh, Arabic-style Judaism, and it's not Sephardic. Ah, that's interesting. See. Explain it to me. I'm not sure of that, because there are a lot of Jews in Iraq there were, I know. Yeah, that kind of stuff. They're, not, they're not Sephardic either. Now, Sephardic what, they're they're it means they originated in Spain and spoke Ca Castilian yeah. and Ladino. Uh -huh. They do not have to speak Arabic. Is Ladino still a language that people it's can still speak? still a language. At in the, Spain, uh, do people still speak it? Or no, uh, but they speak it here in New York at the Spanish and Portuguese synagogue. Many of the people there really? are fluent. Many of the pr professors and their families and the guests speak fluent Ladino, and there are books in Ladino. So do you feel associated with the Iberian tradition in that? Or do I you do, feel that, but you know? I, I must tell you the truth. I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a unkapached, a little bit of this. Unkapached. And Yiddish, that, that means a little bit this, of this and yeah. a little bit of that. Of course, I'm an American. Yeah. Born here, yeah. I have a, a, a Beirut background, a Jerusalem background, mm. Spanish background, oh. and we all ended up in Bensonhurst, Brooklyn. All right. <laughs> well, then you're right in good company. you got a lot of company out yes, there. Well, Yiddish is such a rich language. It is absolutely. So, it's such a funny language. I, I mean, even to an mm. Anglo ear. I speak some Yiddish. Words, my the friend, words are just so funny. I learned it in the synagogue, and my mother spoke. It's become part of schlep. And my mother spoke fluent Yiddish because she was on the, we lived on the Lower East Side. All right. the Jews had to speak Yiddish as well. It so was you, Yiddish even, they spoke. even 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 Sephardic Jews spoke Yiddish. Yeah, right, more than Hebrew. More than Hebrew, oh. because the Yiddish was the language of of commerce, where you went to buy food and bread. Right. You had to speak Yiddish to people. Yiddish theater was really rich oh, around Second Avenue. Yeah. Yes. My, my mother would talk, told me expressions all the time. She'd say, ich bin, ich bin eine Galiziana, nicht a Litvak. That means in Yiddish, I'm a, Gali I'm, I'm a Jew from Poland. I'm not a Lith Lith Lithuanian. Uh -huh. Lithuanian Jews were considered people from Missouri. They questioned everything. Whereas the people from Poland were like Hasidic Jews. Oh, really? You see that? But a lot of people so. from Missouri. Yeah, you had ba Bashel Tov or somebody. Or they had the Hasidic thing. And but he started that. Yeah, the Lubavitch. Now we saw the Lubavitch. Yeah, the Lubavitch. It's just one group out of the Hasidic. Rabbi he shares some people. But you know, there's about 20 different Hasidic groups, and they follow in their prayers. They don't follow the Ashkenazic. They follow the Sephardic. Tradition they, when they, they pray. Ashkena I mean the 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 um, what do you mean? Who, who, Hasidic? Yeah, they follow the Sephardic. They don't, they're not. They're not. I I think of them from they're Poland as being Ashkenazi because, because they uh, their teachers study the Kabbalah, which comes from Spain. Ah, and therefore Kabbalah is Spain. Spanish. Really? So therefore, mm -hmm. and also it's in uh, from Sephat, which is Safed in in Israel. Oh, yeah, where, where, Saf when, Saf I know when the Jews were kicked I've out of Spain, there. they all went to Safed. Mm -hmm. That became the new Kabbalistic center, and so. The Hasidic Jews uh -huh. follow the great teachers, because uh, uh, like uh, Isaac, Lurie, and all these great teachers uh -huh. taught a certain, uh, they call it a nusach, a way of praying, so the Hasidim follow that. They don't follow Ashkenazic. Oh, uh, really? I the didn't German know that. Jews do. I, that's so really The German Jews, I mean, you like know, Polish and Russian Jews will be it, talking in Kabbalic terms and will be not used, are not thought of as, as Ashkenazi? No, Hasidic Jews. Yeah, Hasidic. Hasidic are different. Yeah, Hasidic. They, follow not Hasidic. they will follow the, uh, the uh, you know, the, not the, the Ashkenazic yeah. tradition. Uh -huh. But the Jews that are Hasidic that you see with the with the uh, with the fur hats and the and the payas, you know, here, yeah, yeah. they follow the Sephardic because of the great rabbis that were Kabbalists. Their teachers were Kabbalists. Now, what is the Kabbalah? How does the Kabbalists fit into the overall uh, Hebrew tradition? The Kabbalah. Kabbalists were a the Kabbalah. Uh, uh, there was in, in Spain the original person that wrote a book called the Book of the Zohar, the Book of Splendor, yeah. which is very popular, and like like Madonna uh, and all these movie stars. The are now yeah, yeah. In, they got a very easy kind of form to study it because that book is extremely yeah. difficult. Uh. And matter of fact, the rabbis teach you must not study that book unless you're 40 years old and uh. already know the Talmud because you could unhinge your mind. It's so uh. difficult. It's a, it right. could unhinge you because the, of the mysteries. Do you associate to the Kabbalah tradition? I've read person? it in English, you yeah. see, but uh -huh. I, I found it heavy going. Uh -huh. uh, so Madonna and these others, they Philosophically. Study. Yeah, philosophically. It's heavy uh -huh. because it explains the mm. whole creation of the universe in forms of mysteries, uh -huh. not in terms of rationalism. It's a rational. rich tradition. Very rich. Very rich. Yeah. Uh, and a matter, it's becoming more and more popular. as It's just as popular as Hindu mysticism now. Uh -huh. and, and the reason is, if you mm. read it, mm -hmm. you can see that the writers were actually people that knew what they were talking about. Yeah. They, now, you've, your father, Lebanon, but he was an Arab. You call him an Arab. Arab Jew, uh, rather uh, Arabic than style. In other words, he, 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 and they call them, uh, they're not called Sephardic Jews, they're called Oriental Jews, you know, Mis Mizrahi, which is my name. Yes. My father is a Mizrahi Jew. What is, is Mizrahi it? means not Sephardic, not Ashkenazic, Oriental from, from Iraq, Persia, the Middle East. Are there many? 
Oh, yes, they, they outnumber. How many, do we know how many Jews there are in the world? Yes. Is it about 20 million or something? Or? Well, God willing, Ken Yerbu, that means they should increase. There's 13 million Jews. 13 only? 13 million. There would have been much more, but Hitler killed so many he that, killed that, lot, that yeah. he killed six and a half million, actually. Yeah. And they would have had children, and yeah. they're all gone. So we are a diminished people because yeah. of that. Yeah. But we're a vibrant people. Uh -huh. We are still going strong. We've we been have, going for a long time, haven't you? Uh, we had to. You have the Hebrew calendar. You relate to that? I do. I have a calendar. 5,700? And something 67. Or? Now, what is that connoting? So, uh, the Orthodox Jews believe that is the actual number of years since the creation of the universe. That's, uh, that doesn't comport with our no understanding of science. Or no, but yeah. many yeah. religions yeah. have their religious yeah, calendar right, versus, right, right. you know, secular. Right, right. Even like the Catholic Church had the Gregorian, and right. it had, you know, it had another, uh, they had the, uh, uh, the Claudian calendar, you know, different yeah. calendars. Right. We have, uh, in, in Judaism, they have a, 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 what you call a biblical calendar, right. which is like when Adam was created and when Noah existed, you see? Yeah. And uh, uh, people who are rational well, don't go with that. Yeah. But you can, I think you can have two systems. One is for miracles and one is for religion and one is for, you know, one, when, when you have to catch a flight. Yeah, when you're thinking, I mean, because we haven't known, I mean, we're, you know, we only had electricity for 100 years or something. We've been here 200,000 years, they tell us, you know, in terms of the, 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 the normal understanding of science. And we haven't known, I mean, we're just coming to where, I mean, we didn't know about germs a couple hundred years ago. No, we, we, no, were no. we were very ignorant in terms of what science has made available in the modern experience. So, we're, so we've had lots of things to try and understand what it is and the big question. And yet we had a mind that was able to contemplate how come we're here, self-reflective consciousness. Yes. So we had to have some sort of an explanation of what's it all about, Alfie, you know, questions, right? Yes. Well, what yeah. happens is, is that there are certain structures that don't want to change. That You have certain <sighs> churches and certain traditions that say, what you're saying, it, it sounds good, like to Galileo and yeah. to others, but if you go with it, we're going to put you under house arrest for the rest of your they life. They put Galileo under uh, arrest. That's my point. You know why? And others, Because yes. he said that we were not the center of the universe. Absolutely. And that's do you know that really messed up people's consciousness at the time? Well, that really sense. was a trauma when they had to realize that uh, we were not the center of the universe. Absolutely. And he, he, the Catholic Church only let him off the hook about 10 years ago. That's all because for my, bringing this thing out. Because the, the church no longer has any great power as it used to have in you the old think, days. You think religion does not have the power no, that it did? No, it, it used to have a, an enforcement mechanism to burn you, the church. It has the... That it Inquisition. Doesn't, it it doesn't have that anymore. It no. had, and it had, it had the civil... Uh, civil powers would enforce the church decrees. The civil p powers took the church lands away, took the monasteries, took the wealth. Rather than enforce them, yeah. it, it constricted the church constantly. Wow. So now all the church, the pope can do is speak in terms of moral edicts. He'll go onto the balcony and say, it is a sin to have abortion. And but he doesn't send troops out. Right. Okay? And See what I'm saying? So how, that many, how, many, how many soldiers does the pope have? Absolutely. Somebody said that. That's Sta Stalin. 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 Who was Stalin. worse others. than the... Probably well, others. The worst. Too. Stalin was the worst in worst? terms of religion because he c actually killed people just because they believed in well, God. Well, they had a thing that came along and there were a number of Jews and associated with them. No, I mean, a lot of... They had a thing, they had a religion in a certain sense. The Marxists had a religion. That's right. And it was but like a secular religious kind really. of faith in the idea of scientific socialism and the ideas of Karl Marx. And they had a belief in that that was almost religious. It, well, Stalin and was considered And it went on over into China, too, True, but these, Mao. It goes to show you that wow. many people attack religion because mm. of its excesses like the Inquisition and the Crusades, which were, were pretty bad. But these people were rank amateurs compared to Stalin and Mao and Hitler. They, they would kill 20 or 30 million people mm. uh, and, and say that these people deserve to die because their father was a professor and therefore they deserved, since he came from you a, mean a, a culture a, revolution. A, 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 yeah, any, no. anything like that. You're educated, you must die. You're educated. Oh. You, they would look at people's hands. Mm. If you did not have any Calluses. kind of chance, you were immediately beaten to death. Mm -hmm. What kind of thing well, that? Well, that? That, that was asserting the class interest, the, the dictatorship of the proletariat. Yeah, but you see how that was something that. That they but were you could see how insane that is, if you think about it. Um, uh, yeah. uh, I mean, they would actually kill whole classes of people. Yeah. Uh, I, I, one of my favorite poets is James Joyce, yeah. and he has a line, I use it a lot and everything like that. People are bored to watch the program, but he had a line that he had Daedalus say, history is a nightmare from which I'm attempting to awaken because it's been a history of just terrible, de 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 terrible suffering delivered down upon one group of people who say we're the Ubermenschen, we're mm. the strong ones, 
we are better than you and you are going to we are legitimate yeah. you are not in a war and fight it's been just like that going on practically the whole of time it seems to me well we have to watch that because yeah. life is a mixed bag and yeah. or even history is a mixed bag yeah. there are wonderful moments of like if you look at Einstein, Einstein's e, e, e equals mc square and and you see a Freud's work well. this is he's a noble man so we can't say man is a wandering disease upon the face of the earth but man is Has capable anybody said that? yes that's what a man said a famous <laughs> uh, can you imagine yeah. a, a wandering a, a, a disease, disease on the oh, face of the earth oh he's talking about Jews no, mankind no, is mankind. Uh, okay, one of these yeah. men who lost faith in humanity. But the fact is that it's mankind is also a mixed bag. You have good people, you have bad people, and under terrible circumstances, m men can do awful and horrible things. And right. even under moderate circumstances. But you know, uh, the fact of the matter is, religion serves a great purpose in one sense that it can restrict people from committing absolute horrible things if they have a sense of conscience, you know. A lot of bad things have been done in the name of religion. True, but I'm Hasn't saying... is it true? True, but the atheist... What do you think? More, my point is more good or bad done by religion over time? Uh, uh, well, a man who read... Uh, one scholar who said, looked at the Catholic Church said when he said what the good things like what the nuns did during the plagues and they took care of people versus the Inquisition, that it was a negative. But to me, the atheists are far worse than the religion uh -huh. because I have read what Mao did and what Stalin did and what Hitler did and what Mussolini did and uh -huh. so forth and it really they are they really took the ball and ran with it in terms of you know they, they well, Hitler drew upon a lot of those old Teutonic uh, things uh, conjuring up myths from the past but he didn't believe that. in them himself but they mm. served his purpose for power he, yeah, he wasn't a god a god loving power. man you get it no but uh, they, 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 they they had this notion of one of the things they had the notion of they were the super oh, race we, oh, this the we Aryans know that. Oh, we know and that. they thought that's there true, were lesser people and well, that still goes on and in whatever re religion can tell you yours is superior and then you're inferior and so you got the right to wipe them out or or even the advance of civilization. We represent the white man's burden. And look what we did to the American Indians. Yes. Wiped them out in well, mass. They wiped out. There things. was a meeting. Absolutely. But, you know, uh, we have to... And history goes many on. Many people like Time to lay, lay uh, like in my temple, someone got a lead and said, we have to pay $50 billion for slavery. That would happen. And I said... I can't, I can't pay $50 billion for slavery. You haven't got 50 You couldn't uh, write a check? For uh, 50, 50 billion, that's what I'm saying. No? What we should all Cash get together. Uh, yeah, Americans yeah. should raise $50 billion. Uh. So I, I objected because, first of all, I wasn't around. I did not enslave anybody. Mm -hmm. I, I cannot be held accountable for people <coughs> who went to Africa and took all these slaves because I, I don't agree with it and I didn't do it. Uh. But there are people who actually will tell me that I must take my savings account and turn it over as a reparation. Mm. And, and that's why we have to be very careful with the political you, correctness stuff that's going around right. and all this stuff laying guilt on people oh. so you can, you can extricate from them things. I mean, do it, you think it's, it's not right. right. Do you think it's right and proper that the families, the surviving families of the Jewish holo the Holocaust in Germany had reparations coming to them for the, de the, the terrible things that were delivered down on them? A lot of reparations are going to Jewish that's people. That's true. Uh, reclaiming well, the, uh, property that was well, stolen. Well, because what happened so is it was actually yeah. there it was actually the buildings they owned. Mm -hmm. uh, like oh. there was a man who just got control back of the property. His family owned all these department stores. Right. And, uh, they, and were they seized it, yeah. And, and the Germans yes, were still yes, living. Yes, My yes, point is it, the, yeah. the, the, the descendant of the Nazis yeah. were actually keeping this and getting money at our time. Right. That isn't correct, you see. And mm -hmm. people actually had, a woman just got back a Van Gogh that her father owned and he was murdered. Remember Vincent so. himself, though. Remember the precise story of Vincent. Vincent was a genius and Vincent painted all those paintings. You know they used one of his paintings? They used one of his paintings to, there was some chicken coop Mm. And they took the painting and put it in the window of the chicken coop mm. so the chickens couldn't get out mm. because it was such nonsense that yeah. nobody wanted any. And it didn't make any, it didn't have any value. It had the same value in terms of art. Mm. For those who could see, it had scales from their eyes, they wow. could see. But it had no value until it fetched $35 million at uh, Sotheby's. Right. Well, then it had value. There's something well, crazy Well, about even that. the Germans. But it was just as good a painting when he painted it, but, but it wasn't recognized. The Nazis, see? for instance, would not uh. accept modern art, which was stolen. They would kill people and take the modern art. They would trade it through mm -hmm. a, in Paris with a particular man that they used, and he would trade a, a w three Picassos, uh -huh. uh, and uh, uh, they, they would give three Picassos to the Germans and five, um, uh, let's say, Cezannes uh -huh. for one uh, Rembrandt. Uh -huh. That's why, the because they watch. hated 
They hated modern art. They thought mm. it was decadent. See? Yeah. So they made these trade-offs. Now, the people who were getting it were thrilled. They were getting three Picassos, and they were getting this and this and that. But that's how it is. Even Rudolf, in, in Giuliani, art. Rudolf Giuliani didn't want to give any money to the arts because he thought that's bad art. He was going to be a politician telling you that's bad art. Right. Very often, the people that are in control don't like the right. artists because, in one thing, artists are outside of the normal uh, way of power and so forth. So they might be saying things that are are mocking uh -huh. of those who were in power or something like that. True. Well, the Jews I, were out of power for a long time right. and they stood outside well, of the society. I, I'm not an expert Gave in this field. Gave them a different uh, perspective. Right, but in art, I must say that this is something I enjoy, but I'm not, that, that is not my uh, not value work. You're no, not. you've been a social worker. Right, so we I, to talk some that's about what that. I'm trying to say now. Yeah. Because uh -huh. What was wonderful is that I was able to become a supervisor, in, yeah. and, and I had my mother had always wanted when if she had any problems she'd go to see the supervisor because the ordinary, they try to close the case for no reason. Our case, the closed cases. Case oh, your and ca what? And what? Uh, your welfare, ca welfare case was closed. Uh, we're closing your case. You mean this is your own family? Yes. Yeah. Just okay. say, oh, we're you were at the you were at the bottom of the heap. Bottom of heap okay. Because of after the depression, we yeah. lost everything. Depression so, was terrible. So I told my mother, Ma, I'm I'm the supervisor now. Yeah. And that's the American thing. I was able to become a supervisor and bring with me the knowledge of what these people went through. Like you close some of these cases, like there's no money for food. Right. See. So th there it is. You can actually uh, work. On. Then when I lost my job, I had to apply. <coughs> I applied for food stamps myself. On a and I was turned down. You were turned down. I was turned so down. So what did you do? For so food? I, I, had, to I had another, I had another job waiting, uh, and I just uh, strung out. I had an unemployment check. Uh -huh. Kept myself going till I went back and went into another, you know, another job. Uh -huh. But the, the thing is, we often need that that help just temporarily, uh -huh. and, and it can be denied. Uh -huh. And then you're in trouble when they do that. Why do we do it only temporarily? Why don't we have help for everybody all the time and just have a system where everybody gets what they need all the time? Why don't we have a system? Do we have a system? The politicians got involved. You that's think why. the politicians yeah, they get one, in the way? Yeah, there was guy. There was guy in, in, the in that West said, "We, we, uh, if you enable people to stay on welfare, you are actually uh, enabling them to be um, to be uh, loafers. Therefore, you have to get right. all these mothers with children have to go to work and put the children in in daycare. But there was no daycare where he was talking about. So they get they made this crazy uh, systems where everyone's got to go to work when there's no jobs, no education for these people, and no daycare for their children. It's even worse than that because if you go and you, th if I may suggest, it may be that that's just a ruse." Because more and more, the things that are causing the production of goods and services that have value in the world society and so forth don't have anything to do with human labor, mm -hmm. but for the masses of the people. So you have all these streets and buildings and capital assets mm -hmm. that are creating factories that don't have anybody in them, but they're producing a great deal of wealth, and there's now containerization and all this. And those assets are all owned by a small group of people. Absolutely. Well, they get income as they sleep. Because well, their assets are growing and appreciating. Well, we know that. But the that. masses of the richer. people only get assets by working. Well, the rich are so getting richer. The rich are getting richer, and the super rich are getting super, incredibly super rich. Incredibly so, Saul. Incredibly you know, so. so uh, Paul, Paul Krugman, I just yeah. said this often, he wrote a paper about uh, a couple of weeks ago, a couple of months ago or something. He said, from 1953, 1993 to 90, 2003 to 2005 or something, that the growth in the American economy, that the real growth, didn't go even to the upper 5%, even to the upper, really into the upper 1% beyond inflation, mm -hmm. and it didn't even go to the upper one-tenth of 1%. They got a little advanced, but it was the upper one-hundredth of 1% 1 of the people got all the growth and the uh, uh, growth of capital assets, mm -hmm. and the people are told Very to get a job, and the jobs are being undercut by the technology. Absolutely. No, yeah, We've got a problem in sending that them. work ethic can yeah. be a big old sham well, that keeps people enslaved. They are sending the jobs to India and yeah. into other countries Worse where... Than but beyond that, beyond the outsourcing to China, the slave labor, Absolutely. the pollution is terrible. It's, yeah. it's, it's a fool's paradise. You can go over yeah. there and pollute all you want. Well, you, you go to Pittsburgh, you, got, you, got, yeah. you go to Pittsburgh, all the factories have been closed down. We used to be the number one maker of the finest steel. Yeah, absolutely. But because in the other countries are subsidized by their governments. And they also because able they pay slave wages. Absolutely, but they're able to produce steel at a much cheaper rate, and yeah. therefore they, they actually were able to flood our markets. Yeah, but Did you know that Walmart, that, Walmart, Walmart, Walmart supported, Walmart is the, biggest company <coughs> in the, supported world. the Chinese government when mm. it was dumping its TV sets, and we had only one company left making flat screens. Mm. Walmart went to court with the red Chinese government uh -huh. to support China against this one American company uh -huh. who had taken them to the uh, world uh, economic uh, forum, world trade, or world trade organization, yeah, yeah. and the world trade organization found yes, the Chinese were dumping in order to eliminate that last 
companies. But the point was Walmart was a billion supported oh, yeah. a foreign totalitarian slave economy mm -hmm. against its own people. Yeah, that's right. You got you got yeah, and you got <coughs> a, I don't know eight eight hundred million people living on less than two dollars a day. Well, they and they're polluting like right. crazy now. They won't pass. Oh, right. Peking's more more uh, polluted than well, anywhere in New York City. The worst is they're expelling millions of peasants from their land, oh. and the people doing it are the party, party members who then sell it to corporations and make b hundreds of millions. Whereas so they, they've been co the communist idea. They used to have Marx. They and Marx was it, right. supposed to be proletarian, they, and there was some of that yeah. done. Some of that was done, but there was a lot of <coughs> excess and right. so forth. But there's some of that right. was done. But now they've been co-opted absolutely by the capitalists. They used to uh, call them the uh, imperialists, uh, right? They used yes. to call them the imperialists. That'd be right. the American capitalists, right. right? That's us, right? Well, right. Also, and they call they they said we can enrich ourselves. Yeah. They follow the famous dictum of uh, Deng Xiaoping. He said, yeah. "It doesn't matter if the cat is white or black, as long as he catches the mouse." He also said it's a good <laughs> thing to be rich. <laughs> that's but it. that's after See? Mao. That's yes. after Mao, and, and they've changed, and they've become co-opted by the American but they, system. But the peasants, and the American right. system. What do you think? American <coughs> system claims to be right. historically legitimate. That they have a right. system. We've developed a hell of a system. This is a right. great country. I love this country. Right. I love this city more than this country. I think. Right. You like New York? I love it. I love New York. I love New Everybody York. in the world is here. You've got 180. Do you know you have a sizable community of uh, something? There's 192 states in the United Nations. Yes. You got a sizable communities of 189 of them in the New York City area. Absolutely. Isn't that great? Well, right, it looks, it the looks like UN. I, I know, I know. I, my neighbor has become ha half Muslim now. The women yeah. are actually cut veiled. Yeah. And we have a lot of Hindu women, women with saris. Yeah. And a lot of Koreans and Chinese and Mexicans and Guatemalans there, Polish, Albanians. I think it's great. I have it also. I you like that. I you like, like, the I like the variety. I do too. I, I do, do too. Yeah. But the only thing is the. Yeah. There's not enough uh, place for them to sleep, uh -huh. so many groups have ten men sleeping in one apartment. Well, one that's where it used to be in the Lower East Side with the Jews. Got, yeah, the I'm Jews came from Europe, yeah, and they absolutely. were very poor. The tenements down in the Lower East Side were terrible. But these poor people, what they do is they only make five hundred dollars uh, a month, and many of them are illegal. Mm -hmm. They come from Mexico and Guatemala. Oh. What they do is they work for many other ethnic groups, and they work very hard, oh. and they keep two hundred and fifty dollars for themselves. 100 goes for the rent because there are 10 men involved in the thing. 150 is for food, hmm. and they send the 250 to Mexico, yeah, which has turned into 12,000 pesos. Yeah. And therefore, if he has 10 brothers and sisters, huh. it's like a godsend. Yeah. That's well, why they're coming here. Yeah. Because when they cross over that Rio Grande, mm -hmm. they go even to a place with hard work uh -huh. here. Oh. But at least there's money. But what about this when you think, uh, like, for instance, you look at the world and so forth, and you think the United States. So we had, uh, uh, 1776, we made a revolution. Mm. And we had uh, feudal systems that had been held for so long, and had all those systems, and then we made a revolution because you had the Industrial Revolution coming, the steam yes. engine. Yes, right. Declaration. Right. And then they informed the uh, feudal states. The feudal states in Europe mm. had been there for a thousand years after Absolutely. Rome. Yeah. And everybody got their identity by being a liege lord to the duke or to the earl or to right. the king or something. Right. And that's the way they got their identity. And that was part of the thing that was coming out of feud. Mm -hmm. And then there was this new thing coming and came from the United States. They informed it. Then they made a revolution because the times required something new to handle the industrial thing that's coming. But it wasn't like materialistic. The French Revolution had an even greater impact than the American you Revolution. You think so? The rights of men? Now, the French Revolution is because mm. in the French Revolution, we had the Tories. Mm. The Tories went to Canada. Oh, back then. In France, they 30 killed. 30% of them in were France, Tories. In France, they killed all the aristocrats and all the people who worked for the they aristocrats. They tried a couple of guys squirreled out. But uh, most some of them got, got away, them. let's yeah, face it. But wow. a lot of them, the queen and king, wow. had their head chopped off. They this did. Louis the XVI had his head chopped, chopped off. off and, yeah. and the children, except and one. And one there escaped. was an American Revolution, and we made a system here. Now, Absolutely. now, time but marches on, right? But these revolutions, yeah. and then Napoleon, by the way, spread that revolution all over Europe. Right, and right. And he did a tremendous uh, great thing in that sense because he brought the Nap Nap Napoleonic Code where yeah. people would be judged not on the particular class in which they mm. come from, mm. but by a system of laws. You know, yeah. this was revolutionary in yeah. those days. Well, the British helped too with the common law Absolutely. and that kind of thing. And we did. And we got True. so now the point is we come up to the year two thousand and seven in the Christian era, yes. right? And that kind of, we got that and everything. Well we, we call it before the common era. Well, the common Jews. era. <laughs> Just the common. We don't say the Christian. We say before the common era for everybody. But 2007 is Christian. That's with Jesus. It relates to Jesus. Yeah, common right? era. Oh, but we also say BCE before the common era. That's why another common word. era. Why isn't it Christian? That's the uh, Christian because because calendar. what happens is other religions, Hindu and Jewish, and, and they don't all follow that particular 
uh, uh, Lydia. Like we got 5,700. Absolutely. And that's see? from the beginning of the universe. The beginning of the universe. Well, uh, we don't, we don't tell the, okay. we don't say Christmas. Is that, is that, is we, that don't say to, we don't say to Christmas, Christmas, you must write 5,767. You get the point? Yeah. It's got, so it's, uh, it's sort of like, common here, it's sort of like universal well, why don't we everybody. call everything 5,700 then? Why do we call it 2,000? Everybody in the world writes 2,007 down as this date now. Yes. And so what do you, why would that be a but, common but, 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 but It's not common, common that's Christian. No, no, no. Or it's relating to Christian. It's There's not relating to Buddhism. On that, but not believe it. It's just in, in the sense we uh, a lot of oh, people Oh, it's to be sensitive to other cultures. people's religions. Oh, I see. Okay, 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 we'll call it common here. Common okay, here, that's yeah. man. We well, it doesn't offend me, but I'm saying this is what I happens. Know, I, I understand. Mean. And these things matter often. Right. People get all exercised about little things like right. that. Some of my best friends are Christians. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, including you. Yeah, right, 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 right. I'm you, I think you have a, you have a good Anglican background, I can see. Well, you are named... I'm guilty. I'm not... I'm. White Anglo-Saxon, but are, are you Episcopalian? Section. Are you Episcopalian? I, Episcopalian, I it, yeah. and it is. A, it is. A, we're probably from uh, in a certain way from the royal lineage. We, we, the Episcopalians so, I mean, see, are very I'm much looked up to because you're Anglicans who came here, as you know, oh. and you have wonderful names like Rose Fenor and Whitney and Winston. Well, mine's Channer. That's my point. You get it? Yeah, but it's very, Harold. Very my lovely. first name's Harold. Harold. Harold is disappearing. Did I tell you that in the television? You told I me. Did. Yes, it's you told me. It's shrunk away. You it said, doesn't. Nobody enough. names their kid yeah, Harold no. anymore. It's bad, like Wendy and all that. Yeah, I know. You know, Lance they, well, they, yeah, and yeah, whatnot. Nah. They, yeah, made, they made a study, Jennifer and Samantha, I like and Wendy, one year, yeah, I know. that was the only name. So, yeah. so one writer, writer said, what happened to uh, uh, Tallulah? I think Saul's doing well. Yeah, I think I Saul's know. growing. I think there are more Saul's now well, than we was just, when we it, were born. Really, that, you know, the trend is Saul. That, that, that's one that's thing I really don't, doesn't, I don't mind because I'm really more concerned with... Uh, uh, the name, what's in the name? A rose, a rose by any other name. It's still a rose, right. yeah. No, but we established, no, the point is in 2007, common, whatever. So we call it the 2007, right. and we get here, and we made a revolution 230 yeah. years ago, and now the United States of America, in by a certain way. sense, is like Rome. My. And Rome was very much uh, despised by a lot, Paxa, and they have an assumption. That, and I like this country. I love this country, and there's a lot going for it and everything kind of thing like that. But they've got an idea that they have a system that's in place that is an uber-mentioned mentality about the world, and they're going to be able to impose this upon the world, and this is good for the ages. It's, it's the march of history is being carried by us, the Americans, who are now going to set up. we got bases in 130 countries around the world. We're asserting that kind of a thing. We're destroying Iraq and that kind of stuff. We're doing that kind of a thing in the idea that we uh -huh. are a system for the ages. We are legitimate historically. Uh -huh. And is it possible the system we have in place, you were talking about the work, mm -hmm. The work is being undercut by the technology. Yeah. We made. We need something like a participatory democracy, rather than a representative one where you have a few earls who run everything down in Washington but no, or in, in, in Wall Street. A uh, few I, people I, I, run no, everything. But we have to understand: if you find people in the middle of the ocean on rafts and holding on to large balls, trying to get to Florida, right. and they're coming here. And if you, the things that you were saying, you would think they were going to some dreadful, uh, horrible prison place where only these royal people live and everyone else is a slave. But most people l bordering us or even far away from us are trying to get to the Golden State just like my parents did because they know and that gives they us a, will yeah. not be right. tortured and uh, beaten and all that. The fact is that America is still... And to many people, the, the hope, the hope it is the, gl uh, the, gl the glistening, they say the glimmering city on the hill, but it is the golden hope because it, they had the old expression, if you work hard and you have a little talent and a little ambition, you can make it. And there are many millionaires here uh, who yeah. come from these Billionaires. Guys, from billionaires. Go, from Guyana. Came you can from speak to people. Now he's a billionaire. You ask, yeah. you know, from oh. India and Guyana. Oh. They're yeah. millionaires here. Yeah, they made right. their millions here. That's right. Uh, and you ask, were they, were they tortured? Right. Were they beaten? No. Uh -huh. They just worked hard. Right. Like Bloomberg. So Look at Mr. Bloomberg. Run. Mr. Bloomberg started at the bottom. Yeah. And he is a, they say, do you want to be president, they asked him. Yeah, he he came from no, nowhere. He worked hard, yeah. and he built his own company. And I'm sure he didn't poison his rivals. Uh -huh. He didn't whip his workers with uh -huh. a whip, like uh -huh. people think. Yeah. It, this country is still so maybe, a, a hope. May, okay, so what you're saying, there may be a case to be made for the fact that the United States is the hope of the world and is historically legitimate and is uh, appropriately asserting their power of their leadership element all over the world 
and yes, they are it's legitimate. Not perfect. It's because not perfect. that's assumed. That's assumed. The point is, it's not by everybody it's in not, the world. It's not a perfect legit. country. You know, they assume that sort of thing about Louis the Sixteenth about 1780. Well, that, that's they another assumed way. they were legitimate. No, they that's were not, legitimate. No, but I just want to respond to the first yeah. thing, then we'll get to Louis XVI. Right. because the fact is, this is not a perfect country or a perfect society. There are abuses. There are inequalities. There are no. terrible things that have been done, like to the American Indians, as you said. There has been terrible. slavery. But no reparations there. Yeah, no? but no. It's uh, to to countless millions. Mm -hmm. They look to America mm -hmm. as the guardian of their hope for the future. Uh -huh. They live in circumstances which are so dreadful mm -hmm. and so horrible that if an American was there, they would lose their mind within mm -hmm. one or two days. Same argument. If you go to Haiti, same thing. Do you know that in Haiti, I my family married people from Haiti. Yeah. White people who lived mm -hmm. in Haiti, yeah. they had a little store, mm -hmm. and they hired, they had a maid, they had ten maids, yeah. because Criadas. because they were Creoles, they were yeah. so poor, yeah. the salary was one dollar yeah. a day oh, or a week. Oh, it's slavery, it's slavery. The children yeah. never changed, the mm -hmm. people who live there, mm -hmm. they never changed their clothes, they mm -hmm. have no change of clothing, right. they have to wear the same rags right. all year, and no shoes. Okay, let me ask you So yeah. you come to this country, right? And, uh, these kids, some well, of them Well, it's coming, wealthy. And but it's I'm built saying, up a lot, yeah. I've seen kids that come from Mexico. Okay, so you're making a case. You're making a case, uh, I mean, and it's important. Yes. Yes. You're making a case for the fact that the United States rightfully is the leader of the world, uh, and it is the model for the world, and we don't have to be thinking about any kind of qualitative change because we have the answer that is there for the time ahead and what the future requires in terms of the way we're going to organize world society. Yes. Okay, so and then I'll tell we you have a right to go because and the, it, our in Russia, military power. When I read, and, Sol yeah. when I read Solzhenitsyn, yeah. and I read Solzhenitsyn, mm -hmm. I read Tolstoy and all the Russians, because mm -hmm. I'm fascinated by Russian society. Uh -huh. They're very complex people, they're very idealistic, very. People, and yeah. mystical people, as you know. Oh. And there was a story was, uh, that, that was by from Solzhenitsyn said that these, these students went to the country, they had to go to the country, uh -huh. like not Siberia, but in the middle, uh -huh. to, to work with the peasants, you know? Uh -huh. So there was this poor woman, she had nothing, absolutely. So they all contributed the students and they bought her a, a cow. Uh -huh. and Milk, yeah. A cow, and she wept and wept and she cried because she said no one in her whole life in uh -huh. Russia had shown her an act of kindness. Mm -hmm. That cow was as if I, if you were that woman, yeah. I gave you Fort Knox. Yeah, right, That's right. what it was like. So yeah. she was overwhelmed with emotion. Right. Uh -huh. So my point is, that 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 is a vision that does not the Soviet Union and Russia is a vision that has failed and atheism has failed. They promised that the people who were starving and were you know oh, tyrants were on top they would liberate them. They murdered them. That was what they got. Lenin and Stalin murdered the peasants. Stalin particularly. They, they murdered the people they were they, supposed to. Because they were now they were drunk with a system in, in, of uh, in, in the great leap forward. religious commitment to Marxism. Forty million people hmm. they starved in the great leap forward. Mao gave an order, just one order. Hmm. No, you will not cultivate food. He said. You will make in the backyard your own yeah, steel. First steel, yeah. So that you know what they, do? they took rail, rusted rails, mm. and they went, then when they, they came to eat, was, they can't eat the rails. They all died of hunger. The oh. communists didn't give them any food. Right. So you know what Mao said? He said that half the half mm. of the, if if the one billion half of those uh -huh. billion have to die, it's worth it for the revolution. Uh -huh. That's how these people talk. Okay. Do you have anyone in America saying that half of the million of Mer uh, 100 million Americans must die for the American idea? You don't have that here. That's uh, the point. These these dictatorships and these totalitarians, they don't know what you humanity and America, is about. America is uh, is not caught up in the same thing. Absolutely not. Uh, were you around what, in you, when you walked through the streets of Manhattan? I'm not you talking. See, oh, do you see people driven before soldiers, arrested and beaten and and, and, and arrest? You are an enemy of the state or whatever. It's not that nonsense. We're all running to the movies. We're running to get ice cream. It's a it's a paradise to people. Uh, uh, okay. Were you were you here in or well, what was your feel? You're you're you've got a few years on you. I'm young. I'm much older than you. But no, you no, you're only about five you years older. Than okay. Me. Can you re can you re can you remember the period and what is your attitude? Let's say, because. The United States was isolated for a long time, and we came out of the Second World War. We had defeated the Nazis and the Axis power in the East and so forth, and we had the Marshall Plan, and we did not have... And then the, the zeitgeist was requiring an anti-colonization of the world. The British came back from the Raj. Mm. All of it, that, was in the, that was in the air. That was in the air. There was happening. The United Nations had to be formed, all that sort of thing. We had that, and we, we had, we had pretty pretty good, because we hadn't... We messed in Philippines, we messed in Cuba, we messed in Puerto Rico, 
a little bit that kind of stuff but not not not, not like the european powers have Absolutely. All right, we come yeah. and then we come up and then the second world war everybody was behind we were in a set behind that war the war i mean you know and everything and then there came korea that was a little bit strange and then there came vietnam and then we went over and let me just ask you for it we went over there with our own religion which was anti-communism and everything we had our own view of the world and uh, there were a lot of uh, factors involved but we were responsible for there were about four million southeast asians who were killed do you remember napalm you remember napalm the burn to the bone mm -hmm. the little children mm -hmm. and women mm -hmm. so I remember. I we did that that was the united states right. of america right. how did you feel about that did you I think that was something i noticed no one ever went in the dock for that for any ills that were done and well, do, how do you feel about the united states of america now with their forces in iraq how do you feel about the United States of America with their military bases in 130 countries and saying they are going to impose this system on a world of great diversity and turn them all into the golden uh, country that we represent? Uh -huh. And is there not an arrogance of power in that? No. And this or is, is it deserved? Is because what we do, great out of powers, all of history, other empires have no. fallen, but we are for the ages. Well, but you see, great powers make great mistakes. Yeah. And America in its actually believed this idea of the, of the uh, domino effect uh, and went into Vietnam, even though the generals yeah. had warned. The generals had said, we must never be involved in a land war in Asia. I we know. I wrote a paper to that effect in 1954. Well, there you go. All geostrategic Absolutely. thinking. Absolutely. But not, what do you think about that? Well, th what happened is the, 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 the po politicians believed that it was more important to prevent the domino effect uh -huh. than to listen to the generals who said we cannot really win such a war because it will be a guerrilla war. Yeah. They already saw what McNamara happened. McNamara, 30 years that we made a mistake. No, so no, we, we killed 4 we million? We saw what, the, what happened to the French. So you could have said, that if not, Nazis We saw what happened still, at the French with yeah. Gen Fu. Yeah, we did. And we knew that might have happened, but we, we yeah. Johnson, and we're reading off all Kennedy the and Johnson overruled, they said, uh, the, uh, what happened is Thailand will fall and Cambodia, you know, this kind of thing. Uh -huh. So a, a great mistake was made. Uh, and there were abuses, and uh, then, of course, uh, tr try to extricate ourselves. We didn't know how to get out of it once we were Finally in. Finally got out, and the, they were holding on to helicopters off the point. On. And we were Do you think the same thing will happen in well, Iraq? Well, first of all, we were hitting people on the head who were trying to get onto the helicopter. Yeah. The reason they were trying to get on the helicopter, they knew, the they knew what the, the yeah. communists were They had lost. Through. Not only that, the communists. We had lost the war. True, but the, what was going to happen to them, uh -huh. these people knew. We uh -huh. left behind our computers with all those who had helped us, mm -hmm. these people were all arrested mm -hmm. and sent to re-education camps, which are very severe in communism, mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. you know. You, yeah. ha you have to break rocks all day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what happened is we, we uh, did not listen to our generals, and we thought we were saving mm -hmm. Vietnam from yeah, we a had terrible to burn thing. the village. We had you to get, burn the village the to point, save it. That right. kind of thing. Now that was us. That was well, the, yes. the golden city you're saying. We're yeah. doing that, and we're doing that around the world. Well, now. no, that's my point. That well, there's it, a lot of people. Never have we been in see, such low esteem. Other countries. You think that's all envy? No, but wait. They just other envy countries. envy us because we're so look, successful and rich. Look, when, and they envy us. Look, is that why they hate us so? Look, when Soviet Union invented invaded Finland, and Finland stood alone, and the people watched, and the Finnish army was able to defeat the Soviets originally. Then when the Soviet Stalin said, it, destroy them under any circumstance, and Finland eventually was o overrun by the Soviets, as you mm, know. Yeah. That, so that has nothing to do with <coughs> us. That's an example. Great <coughs> powers have a tendency to, if, they're, if they don't get what they want, to, to go to war and yeah. invade. Uh -huh. Now, so Vietnam was a mistake. I was for it as a gung-ho, tight-ass person, young conservative type, but when I saw we could not win it, I told my friends, we cannot win the war. We must get out. When did when did you make the decision uh, to change? It was when I saw 80, by sixty eight by like seventy five. They went from sixty eight to seventy five. In this dropping in napalm on children. That was in, when, in our name. When they no when they came to the cities and the great attack they had the Dim Dim Fu. Yeah, no, that's no, the French. No, oh, not Dim Dim Way. Uh, I think well, it was Way, it, wasn't it? it right? No, no, not no, Way. The uh, Tet Offensive. Tet Offensive. Tet Offensive. Yeah. They actually were throwing bombs into the American embassy. Uh huh. And I said, well, that's it. They were shooting up soldiers right in the American embassy. Uh huh. They said, how? going to win the war. So do you so think we're doing that around the world now? now Co-opting or nothing. forcing the world no. to follow our Iraq model? Again. Now, Iraq, and our model serves us well. No, well and it, it serves the rich. It doesn't we are part well. of the rich. No, we it doesn't serve us well because our soldiers are being killed. Per, no, I'm saying well. our, we are now the rich. The people in Rome were rich. We feel good. We're in rich. We're all got, everybody comes here. There's rich. You can get all kinds of sick of and things. You can get something comes down, the, crum, the crumbs fall from well, the table. No. It all serves a few. No, no, There's only a few doing The Democrats that. were against us. Uh, the, 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 there's a very distinguished uh, man from, uh, from Virginia, uh, Senator, um, I'm trying to remember his name. You know Sen the Senator from Virginia? He's about 90 years old. He opposed the war right away. 
He said, our national... In West Virginia, Bird. Bird, he Robert said. Robert Bird, yeah. He got up and said, and he's mm. very weak uh, yeah. physically, but he yeah. said, our, our national treasure will disappear, our, our boys will be killed. Yeah. I don't think we should go through... So it wasn't this unilateral thing yeah, that you Yeah, but you, you know that we did. Yes, because you had a Republican administration. No, you had a neocon uh, conspiracy developed. Well, I don't know about Yeah, conspiracy. I think it was. It was Wolfowitz was talking about invading Iraq in the 70s, and well, that neocon cabal. Well, let's face it. And are they thing. good to be running things? And are the let's, people who are running Saddam things? Saddam Hussein was no angel. He wasn't an angel, but he wasn't that bad. What? what? No, he wasn't that bad. You know what he did? Yeah, I, I, I think you're wrong on that. But no, that's okay. I'll tell you what he did then. Well, I'll tell you what. I, you want to know? Let me finish. Okay. Saddam Hussein used... Uh, poison gas from the air on the Kurds. There's a know. lot of things. Wait, right? let me finish. Well, Two hundred thousand okay. people. We have the picture. We have pictures from Jalaba, where he actually, the whole city was destroyed Halabcha. by poison gas. Halabcha. Halabcha. All yeah. right. Then the Shiites. Yeah, but the, thousands yeah. of bodies tied up with a cord and. Have you noticed? And, and, have I'm you, oh, no. I'm finished. Then all his political opponents. You know, he had a tendency to throw them into bowl, uh, bowls of uh, pots of sulfuric acid. He used torture. His sons used shredding Don't machines. Don't forget the babies down in Kuwait that were in the incubators. Remember all the bullshit we got about that? Mm. Don't remember, you, we, well, we're, we are a, subjected I'm, I'm, to I'm, propaganda. I'm remember. No, no, but what Saddam, you're Saddam is, is propaganda. Not, he's not propaganda. No, 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 a bad no, no. Guy. Okay. He's a bad guy. You know That's not propaganda. One of the leading experts in terms of Is he of a good man to you? No, what is he? He's a terrible person. Let me explain to you in a certain sense. One of the leading experts, at least during the first Gulf War, and remember, we killed 150, uh, one and a half million people in Iraq with the damned sanctions after we did it. After we did it, we killed all those people in a turkey shoot when we did that kind of a thing. The causus bellus was probably Iraq, was probably Kuwait for slant dwelling and so forth. Jude Winiski wrote a paper. He didn't know why he was in the dock at all. He was an elected government. He was the head of a government. He was okay. there, and he kept the country together. The comp, the, the, it might be compared to Tito. Tito kept Yugoslavia together. He was called a terrorist by the Nazis, remember? He did that. He might even be compared to uh, Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln was so dev. We listened to all the John Wilkes oh. Booth and the people from the Confederacy, comparable to hated Lincoln more than they hated some of those people. He had about a 60% approval, about like Nixon or something in this country. He was not, there's no, re it's our fault for doing it. And one wants to know why did the neocon cabal that took no, over but tried to take over this country? You no, know, you're all over the place. Let me yeah, tell you I know, something. But I'm, I'm just adding. You're I'm just talking you about have to, a We have to take. Let's take one giant war after another. Okay. Uh, you can't mix them all together like a nice chicken soup. There's there's different different chicken types. Soup of is good. I know, but ah. but not in politics. Okay. My my point is mm. this. Lincoln was a great man. Yes, he was. Uh, okay. He, he, he may wasn't thought so at the time. He was, he was hated. Great, I know that. But More he than was a Sunnis good man. He was Shias. a great man, and he suffered over the slavery. All right. The fact is, Saddam Hussein is no, uh, no Lincoln, and Tito was a much greater man than Saddam Hussein. Tito defeated the Nazis in Yugoslavia. Yeah. Saddam Hussein murdered anyone who oppo he thought opposed him. So I, I can understand why we want to, and he didn't evade Kuwait. Well, you get a lot of those human rights people there. Now, First of all, there's a, there is a great deal of evidence but we cannot that the war, thing at Hamas was Iraq. We are losing, Iran. We are losing Iran. the war now. And don't forget, we're now losing the war to the Iranians. We're now building no. it up to where we're going to attack Iran. Mr. No. Mr. Uh, what's his name? Lieberman has said, we better bomb that Iran. We got that uh, fellow in Iran now. They're they've destroyed Iraq. Mm. They've destroyed Palestine. They've yeah. destroyed all these countries. They're going out like that, coming out from Israel. Mm. You're a supporter of Israel. Of course apparently. I am. Okay, that's good. I'm not. No, I'm, well, you know, I, I think that that, there's somebody that I'm ought to be really questioned. I don't know why it serves our national interest to be in support of Israel. I do not understand because it's it. Because it's a democracy and it's a small nation trying to defend itself. Okay. You see what's happening in Palestine now with Hamas killing even their own people. All the al Fatah they caught, they murdered them. Yeah. Because they said, you you are with the, uh, with the Americans. They weren't. Uh -huh. They just said, we have to have some moderation. No moderation. Hmm. But the fact of the matter is the mm. Palestinians seems to be their own worst enemy. Yeah. What's going on now? Israel is allowing trucks of food to go now and food and medicine. They're not bombarding them. The fact is the Palestinians have to get their act together. Uh -huh. They can't blame the whole world for their misery. They've right. got to get their act together. Right. And I want you to know that, that oh. in Iraq, uh -huh. we are losing the war. It's yeah, true. We are. But we, there was some like, hope. Uh, like we, Vietnam. They, yes. They thought by getting rid of... When are we going to get out? They thought after Saddam was over mm -hmm. that there would be like, it would be a paradise. Yeah. What we got was an insurgency that we never count. Well, we knew what because we didn't know what the hell we were doing. And, and the we, were being advised, we were being advised by a cabal of neocons. Well, they were wrong. Tied to Likud, 
No. Well, yes. Look what I sent you to yeah, they are. They're no. all tied. I'm That's, in Lakut. What are you talking well, about? And I didn't advise them. Sharon and that whole group is I tied was elected to that based idea of a greater Israel. No, no, Yeah, no, yeah, no. you don't think so. I know. You don't I think was, so. I, a lot of the world does. I was elected, believe it, just by going to Israel the way, because I, these are the, the way I speak to you. Yeah. They said, you have been elected to the Likud party, and mm -hmm. they even sent me to the World Zionist Organization. I didn't say bomb and kill and strafe. Mm -hmm. I have to be a very nice guy, uh, an intelligent I know, I fellow. Tell, yeah. So the, your, your statements are absolutely from left field. Right. Now, I want you to say they as well, good. because yeah. I'm a living proof that that's not true. Yeah. Do I look to you like a mad murderous type? It's absolutely not. not I'm a nice all. Jewish boy. Of course you are. And I eat I chicken you, soup. I know so, that. That's good. Uh, uh, and, uh, uh, you and have any good facts, but you seem to push them all together so that no, the whole No, I'm seeing it historically. First of all, I'm more, I, I, I'm very much in league with the Nutor Karta people. Well, I'm with the They're Nutura. completely wrong. Well, they that's what you think. They think you're Meshuggah. I, let me tell you, I know, I know the Nutor yeah, Karta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Rabbi Doe. Brain. I have great respect they're, for they're Rabbi Doe. completely nuts. No, you know, they're not. I'll tell you why. They're saying that... They're, they're, one, of the, they're one of the Hasidic groups, but they say that there can be no Jewish state at all, no Jews in, in right. Palestine at all, and they, they have allied themselves like with the Hamas, they were standing next to Hamas. Yeah, I know, I know, on, they on, went on, and met in Ramadan. No, not Iran. only that, but Hamas, at the yeah. time, I was on, I, they put me on a float, I was in the Jewish National Fund, right. because they called me and they said, Would you, you, they know I gave money as a, a, with a little blue box, right. would you like to be on the float? I said, sure, I'd love yeah, to be on uh, the uh, float. Uh, Just like they said, would you like to be on TV? I said, yeah, sure. Yeah. So the fact of the matter is mm -hmm. that, um, uh, now, that, uh, yeah, they say it's a blasphemy. Yes. Yeah, right. Thing. Did you know that they're the, true the defenders why, of the city? You know why? Uh -huh. They say the Messiah has not come. Do so you right. understand that as a Christian? Now, you're, you're a Christian. You say Jesus was the Messiah. He came already. Well, I'm not that, that strong. But I'm my more point secular, is that really. amongst all Jews, mm -hmm. they're all waiting, except the Lubavitch that mm -hmm. you mentioned. Mm -hmm. Many of the Lubavitch believe that Rabbi Schneerson was the Messiah. Well, she rest in peace. That's why a lot of the Satmar don't get They don't get along with the Satmar because the Satmar. Even the chief rabbi of Satmar condemned the Nitzrayim Carter. They were part of that membership. Mm -hmm. They said, you, "What you're doing is crazy. You're going with all these people that say destroy Israel, kill the Jews. Mm -hmm. You can't do that." And they said there was no Holocaust, by the way. If you mm -hmm. know that, mm -hmm. the, the Nitzrayim Carter believed there was a Holocaust. Well, I but, wonder but, about that. But the Iranians mm -hmm. said there's no Holocaust. You know, how, come, how come it's but called? The that, now I'll tell you why they they don't want. I Israel. would question the Holocaust. They said without the Messiah, uh -huh. there can't be Israel. Yeah. Since they no say they say, and what they tell me, maybe you explain. You're Jewish. I'm not. Okay. You know, I'm not Jewish. I'm not Jewish. No, not to but apologize. Say, no, 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 I know. <laughs> but uh, but Canadians you know, are very close yeah, to Jews, by but the anyway, way. But anyway, but they say, and I don't know, because I don't read Torah much or anything, but the Torah is the main book, and then you have a Talmudic interpretation and so forth. And they say that, okay, so they got 2,000 years since David, and they're in, they're in diaspora. They say they were being um, punished for sins, right? And that there was written into the Torah, the, the books that could be studied, uh, the way in which at the end time there would be an ingathering of the Jewish people and that some of the features of that which can no way be interpreted in any other way, it would be totally peaceful. No weapons, no fighting. It would only be peaceful within a world of universal justice and that that, to advance that, that ahead, is to be a blasphemy of the Torah no, but and that not. it is a blasphemy that has to be disassociated from and disassociated from and the Jews have been taken in, taken in by the Zionists. No. With many, this political, many Jews, secular thing. Many of the Jews in and Israel the, the most are... Popular, they, and they don't believe in Mashiach. Whatever happened to Mashiach? They Where believe. is Mashiach? They said he hasn't come yet. Where That's is Mashiach? the point. And he's not to have Israel until he does. Where is Mashiach? That's so they they're wrong. Aryans, Mashiach. That's How the do they do it? They had a popular song in Israel, the most popular song. Mashiach isn't coming, he isn't even phoning. Ha, ha, ha. Because those, they that's make, the they that's make the light that's the of the idea and that of was the Mashiach. Sin. And, and that right is a sin. That is a sin. That. And that, the Nature of character the, holds with that. That people, those people who did it, are not religious Jews, those are rock and roll types that don't believe in, they don't oh, they pray. Oh, they say about the Mashiach. So, yeah, they so made, yeah. made a rock and roll hit song. Well, that's part of popular So you could say the same thing, though, like say, the Beatles made a song. The Beatles made a song. How come? You get the point. You're right. You're right. Right. Not religious type. Right, they they right. smoke pot, these right, people. Right, right. They soak in. But the yeah. Nitzrayim Karta are the only Hasidic group that uh -huh. says Israel has no right to exist. They yeah. say it exists. No, it's worse than that. It's a blasphemy. No, it's a blasphemy. It's I know, but they're yeah. wrong because the people. Why are you saying I'll they're tell wrong? You why. You're wrong. I'll tell you why. Okay. Many of the people who came to Israel at mm -hmm. the time when it was Palestine are survivors of the Holocaust. 
they were not accepted in any of the countries of the world, That's even right. America. Oh, okay. So you notice that many of the boats were turned. Well, back Adam Ajan said, so "Why did they come to? Why did they come to Palestine? Why didn't they give them Bavaria? It was Germany that did them in. Why should they go and suffer on the Palestinians? Why didn't uh, they give them Bavaria in Germany and let the Jews be in Bavaria where they were where they were treated badly, not by the Arabs? Why are they doing this? Because delivering the down the why? Why? Why, why? why do we have to follow the Roman law? The Romans yeah. expelled us." The Romans have no more power in the world. Did you know we were expelled by Hadrian? He said, no Jews come. Hadrian has no more power in the I world. Know. It was Hadrian that ordered Jerusalem to be destroyed and salted over, and no Jew was allowed to be in the land. Why should I be following Roman law? Rome does not rule the world anymore. No, ro the United States does. Well, and they've got their lapdog. And that's Israel. why we're talking about it. And now there's and the Israel is not a lapdog. Oh, you don't think so? Not at all. Well, they're not. They would not have They existed. said the same thing about they the British guy. They could not have existed Anyone who doesn't they disagree. Could not. Why do we give them unlimited support, Apache helicopters, and all that sort of thing to the they, country of Israel. Why? What's in why our Why should interest? they be murdered by interest? the Arab terrorists? They're not, they're not Arab. They're seven not seven, uh, seven wars already. Were far already. more people have been killed. Don't you have about far the more six. Palestinians have been killed than have Israelis. Because the, uh, the uh, and the, the ire of the you no, got you're not letting me talk. One I must thing, tell you. No, I tell you. You have seven wars against Israel. Who started these wars? In '67, it was the 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 they said we are going to murder every Jew. Nasser said that we're going to wipe it off the face. Well, you know that. And then in '73, they attacked and. And, and Yom Kippur, the holiest day, there was an attack. The, the Jews didn't expect to be attacked on mm. Yom Kippur, mm. you remember? And, and, and Go Golda Meir was taken out as prime minister because she didn't lack preparation. She mm. trusted everything would be fine. I think Israel Moshe Dayan was fired as the oh. defense minister. I think. Wait, the then there was another one. Then Lebanon, they were bombarding from, from Hezbollah. Yeah, right. So they went into to Lebanon, then they got out. Yeah. But it didn't stop. Then yeah. Hezbollah attacked now a year ago. Yeah, and then they, they, they had We didn't attack Hezbollah. They got, yeah, all right, that's right. That's the story that's there and everything. But I don't think that's. Seven the, wars. How many? Now you've Do you know got, how many Jews now there are in Israel? Got, they've now Do you know got, how many Jews live in Israel? Uh, I'm not sure. About there are three, five, mi three, three million. million. Yeah, it's just a few uh, people. Uh, nothing. Right, nothing. Right. You know how many Arabs there are? 22 Muslim countries. No, beyond that, you've got 1.4 billion Air, uh, Muslim, Muslim. I know. In uh, the uh, Ummah. Uh, and and one, thing I'll give you, one thing I'll give you. One thing I'll give you. The Jews and the Zionists have chutzpah. To be able to think they're going to be able to stand up to 1.4 billion Muslims. They have no choice. They have they're no going to go to the ocean otherwise. Well, they're right. going to come over here. Well, you okay. think they're going to let them all over here? They, well, Roosevelt didn't let us in World War II even though he knew that they were being exterminated. They should have let you in because you we know, need the British more government said, well, The British guy said, what are we going to do with all these Jews? Well, you got a thing in this. I mean, when Hitler was killing them mm, all. Well, that's what the, 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 that's what the, like Clement Attlee and the British government, what are we going to well, do? We can't let them in, they said. Anyway, one so, day, you know what the problem is? You know where they went? Illegally, they went to, they, they jumped off the boats and went, and the British put them in Cyprus. Yeah. My I relatives know. were in Cyprus. Yeah, I know, Cyprus. And my aunt was in the concentration camp Saul. with my cousin. One let of me the tell problems. you, my support, we got to do more. Let me tell you one thing. Saul. My aunt was not executed in, I, uh, in France. Do you know why? Uh, she was arrested by the Gestapo. Uh, her and her because she was a British citizen. She was born in Palestine. Uh, I see. That saved her. Otherwise, she would be gassed. All right. One of the problems is we don't have enough time. Oh, we didn't get to Yiddish theater. We're out of time. Oh, I'm, 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 really not, I'm not very good at Yiddish theater, by the way. <laughs> oh, I'm well. only good as an audience. It's wonderful to be. Anyway, but have we have got again. Yeah, absolutely. We got you, to, you it's good to talk. I'm good wonderful. to talk to some because I always talk to the tour card to people, and they're steering me all wrong. And I, you know, and the things. And also, I, I do think that the United they States of America vision. has a problem. They do not have a vision relative to what's needed for the whole of the world. Well. They that's need that. We that need that. that or we're going to blow it up. And I don't want to blow up the world. That's what's going to be called TV show number two. All oh, right. <laughs> to be <laughs> over ambitious and cover the whole of world history in one time may be too much. Too, so we see, too even much, for too us. Too much hubris. You know? Too much okay. hubris. Even so it's delightful to talk Your to you. Pleasure. Right. Your pleasure. Don't, don't get up. Don't get up. Oh, because oh, the cameras sorry. are still running. Oh, I'm sorry. Your pleasure to have the perceptions of Saul. Oh. Saul Mizrahi. Thank you. Yes. That's a uh, uh, Sephardic that's name. Sephardic. But it's not Sephardic. It's Arab. Right. Arab. Iraqi. Right. You're right. Yeah, right. Yeah, you corrected me, right? Yeah. My father's name comes from uh, the Middle East, but my mother's name, Levi, yeah. is Sephardic. That see? is, yeah. And so I, I, come, I have those two traditions. Good, a But pleasure. my friends are Ashkenazic, and now I have we an Episcopalian friend. We didn't get a chance to friend. talk about the shul. We didn't get a chance to talk about probation. We have to, you oh have to come God, back. We yes. have to do, what you know, you should, you should come here and become a producer of your own program mm. and educate the people. I, I That's what you should think I'm about a, doing. I'm this I'm is I'm great. I'm afraid the other Public person wouldn't get another word in edgewise. I'm, I'm